Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. In today's video, it's all about identifying the Mexican bean beetle. This is how your green bean plants should look, or your bean plants in general. Nice and green, no problems. Now, in here in Maryland Zone 7, we get an insect that comes in, it's called the Mexican bean beetle, and it will devastate your crops, your bean crops, and it will look like this. We'll talk about prevention in a second, but I want to show you what the problem is. That is the Mexican bean beetle, that's the larva. There's an example. Here's one over here. And basically, there's another one. Yet another one. Two of them, actually. So, a flying insect comes in, lays eggs, the eggs hatch, the larvae start chewing the undersides of the leaves, and usually, if you have one, you have an infestation. And this is what's going to happen to your bean plant. The way to prevent it is really to do a preventative spraying. Now you can use peppermint oil. That's what I use in my garden. I'm here at Freetown Farm just showing you examples of the problem. Before you start spraying, you always want to identify the problem. And if you want to subscribe, I will be doing short three minute videos on identifying insects and diseases in your garden and how you treat them. So spraying peppermint oil is really, really effective in preventing the Mexican bean beetle from even coming to your plant. So you would spray a peppermint oil spray. I have plenty of videos on this on my channel if you want to check out the recipe. But it's one to two teaspoons per gallon of water and some soap. But watch the video so you know the details. You spray the undersides every seven to ten days with the peppermint oil. It repels spider mites, aphids, and the Mexican bean beetle. And as I was standing here, I saw an example of the problem creeping over to this plant. So you would be spraying peppermint oil on the underside to prevent it from coming on. If they do get there, because they're chewing insects, you could use neem oil and you would do that every 7 to 10 to 14 days on the undersides. If the larva or worms are chewing insects, chew the leaves, they eat the neem oil, that will kill them off. Now, I can't give you the exact frequency to spray because it's going to vary garden to garden but you just want that routine in place so that you are killing off the waves of insects that come in so it could be every seven days every 10 days every 14 days whatever works for you you can also use a product if you don't want to use neem oil it's called bt and that does the same thing spray the undersides tops of the leaves the insects chew it shuts down their gut they die off so there's multiple ways to treat this you could use chemical sprays if you want spraying the underside like seven or something like that if you're not concerned about organic. But the idea is routine and that will keep the Mexican bean beetle from getting to your bean plant and devastating it. Thanks for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and below in the video description I have a new podcast I'm doing with Callie Kim, another YouTuber. YouTuber. Um, it's a 45 minute podcast on starting your first vegetable garden and we will be doing a whole series of podcasts, a couple every month, 45 minutes long so you can listen to them while you're driving or while you're in the garden. Thanks for watching again and please check out my seed shop therustedgarden.com